Good morning! Today, we would like to present to you about the use of low temperature to prevent food spoilage. The use of low temperature reduces the activity of microorganisms by reducing the chemical reaction and action of enzymes. Low temperature will prevent growth of microorganisms, allowing only small metabolic activity. These effects will prolong the shelf life of food. Preservation is also achieved by a combination low temperature, reduced water activity, and in some food, they use pre treatment by blanching. Low temperature can be produced by refrigeration or chilling, and another method is freezing. Now, let's see the importance of low temperature in preventing food spoilage. First, chili retests the microorganisms' growth such as thermophilic and mesophilic microbes. Second, retests the deterioration of food related with chemical changes, loss of nutritive value, and color degradation. Third is the no microbial adaptation in low temperature. Moreover, ice crystals form is much smaller in the quick freezing that results in lesser damage of foods. Moreover, short period of solidification in quick freezing. Next, the texture is usually better compared to other food preservation. And lastly, the food quality after towing is much better. The first technique is chilling. Generally, the foods are stored at a temperature near but above their freezing point, usually between negative 1 to 8 degrees Celsius. Chilling is used to extend the shelf life of the foods. These are some examples of suitable temperature used in preserving these products. The second technique is freezing. Freezing helps to lower the temperature of the foods below its freezing point, usually below negative 18 degrees Celsius. This helps to inhibit microorganisms growth by lowering water activity of the food. Some of the examples of food used in this method are meat, which is frozen quickly after slaughtering. Fruits can also be frozen in syrup or dry container to exclude air and prevent oxidation and desiccation. However, food is not sterilized in this method. Some of the examples of freezing techniques are in freezing. It uses cool air plus or low temperature gases coming in contact with the food. Cold air is blown over the food and circulated through a diffuser by means of fans. The second example is indirect contact freezing. Packaged foods or liquids are brought into contact with metal surfaces cooled by circulating refrigerant. The plate freezer consists of hollow shelves or plates that cool by refrigerant evaporating inside them. The food is pressed between the plates. This ensures good contact between the cold surface of the plate and the food. Freezing time depends on the thickness of the product between the shelves. The last examples of freezing is direct contact freezing. Food placed in direct contact with refrigerant such as liquid nitrogen and carbon dioxide snow. For an instance, the pressed nitrogen will be dispersed by fans throughout the machine's tunnel in order to ensure all the foods are in direct contact with the nitrogen. This technique is suitable for any kinds of food products such as shrimps, packing, mixed vegetables, and fruits. This will help to freeze individual food particles within minutes or seconds. Let's see the type of micro 
organism that involves in food spoilage. Micro organism involved in this is Salmonella and Campylobacter. Micro organism involved in fish is Vibrio, Salmonella, Listeria, and Shigella. Micro organism involved in fruit is Listeria monocytogenes, Xanthomonas species, Bacillus species 1, and Pseudomonas species. Microorganism involved in milk and milk products is Bacillus cereus, Listeria monocytogenes, Salmonella species, E. coli, and Popular Vector jejuni. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!